In this video tutorial, you will learn how to combine external CSS in WordPress. Cascading Style Sheets, or CSS for short, is a style sheet language that describes how content in your website display. Every WordPress team has default CSS settings. The CSS files exist in three forms. One, inline CSS. These are embedded in an HTML tag and allow you to apply a unique style to one HTML element at a time. Number two, internal CSS. They are used to define a style for a single HTML page. Codes are specified in the head section of the HTML page, but perform an action in the entire HTML body. Number three is external CSS. The external CSS file is a file that contains only the CSS code, which is saved as a .css file. You can change the look of the entire website by changing this file. Having a lot of external CSS files can contribute to an increase in the loading time of a website. Therefore, combining the external CSS files helps speed up your website. In this tutorial, I will show you how to combine the external CSS files using a plugin called Fast Velocity Minify. In your WordPress dashboard, go to Plugins, then click on Add New. In the search bar, type Fast Velocity Minify and press Enter. This is the plugin we are looking for. Click on Install Now to start the installation process. You can see the plugin has a very good rating and more than 100,000 active users. After the installation is complete, this button will change to Activate. Click on it to activate the plugin. Then you will be redirected to the Plugins page. Now to access the Plugin Settings page, you can either scroll down to the plugin and click here. Or go to Settings. Then click on Fast Velocity Minify. Now, click here on Settings. You can go through the basic setup and check your desired settings. Then scroll down to CSS Options. Here, make sure the Disable CSS Processing is unchecked. And for the other options, you can leave it as it is or read the tips given here and check them if you want. Now scroll down to the bottom of the page and click on Save Changes. That's it. Your CSS files will be combined. This is how you combine the external CSS in WordPress. That's it for today's video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down on the comment section below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button. If you're new to our channel, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss any of our future videos. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one.